Rules for thee, not for me. California Congressman Eric Swalwell is the latest blue state Democrat spotted hanging out maskless in mandate-free Florida. This comes to days after he blamed Republicans for canceled vacations and prolonging the pandemic. Here's what he tweeted. As we end 2021 mired in a deadly pandemic, you should know who has prolonged it. These guys, Republican liars, your vacation canceled, your kids back to virtual learning and back to masks everywhere. For blame, look no further than these guys. Well, let's bring in Florida Congresswoman and Homeland Security member, committee member uh, Kat Kimek. And it's great to have you here, Congresswoman. The irony that somebody like Swalwell, who has been a proponent of masks and lockdowns and mandates and vaccinations, where does he go for his first vacation? He goes to your state. That's right, Cheryl. And Happy New Year to you and, of course, all our viewers. But, you know, it really has become a situation where the Democratic Party, the liberal left, they have become the party of do as I say not as I do. And you would think that this would be something that, of all people, Eric Swalwell could wrap his head around because, you know, this whole leading by example thing, it seems to be a foreign concept for the vast majority of Democrats today. But as we know, uh, Representative Swalwell seems to like foreign things like Chinese spies. And unfortunately, we find another Democrat in uh, the Sunshine State, a state in which he has criticized. He has criticized the leadership of Governor Ron DeSantis. And again, we find him telling everyone that their vacations are going to be canceled because, canceled because of the leadership of Republicans. Yet here he is vacationing in a Republican-led state. The hypocrisy of the left simply knows no bounds. And I have to thank you, Congresswoman, for allowing me to once again show these pictures that our viewers are looking at of him at the spa. Uh, you know, all the, of all the different things, that the, the moral compass that he seems to not have at this point, I found it egregious that he is calling out Republicans uh, despite his actions. Uh, let's talk, though, about this Florida issue, because you also had, you know, uh, my congresswoman, AOC, had her down in Florida as well. Uh, they all, and I, I do appreciate the fact that Governor DeSantis uh, was able to basically have a laugh at this. I mean, it, it's just the hypocrisy is incredible to me. It is. And, you know, I have to give credit to, to Governor DeSantis and his team, but most especially his wife, Casey. Uh, AOC, she is in South Miami, in South Florida, vacationing uh, for, I think, about a week now at this point. And she criticizes him, saying he's been inexplicably missing for two weeks. Well, he has actually been with his wife, Casey, who is battling breast cancer. And so he's been accompanying her to her treatments. Yet AOC doesn't seem to acknowledge that. And so I like to, to say, you know, why don't you explain your 62 proxy votes this year? You know, the votes that she just simply couldn't make it into Washington for. Don't you think that her constituents deserve to know? And furthermore, one in eight women in her district are battling breast cancer. Does she not think that their spouses or their, their uh, person should be with them? Apparently not. So, again, the hypocrisy of the left, they, they simply have no moral high ground when they, when they do one thing and say another. And the American people see right through it. And that's all the more reason why we're going to win the election in November overwhelmingly.